High Priest Gideon will be alone at night. Rest up and talk to the Tavern Keep when you're ready. The Shadow Guild operates this tavern. It's been that way for generations. The red scarf is a symbol of the Bloodwing butterflies? Aye, you seem to know a lot. Show that insignia to a person in a red scarf and they'll help you out. We know for a fact that Captain Eifried was on the prison island. And it's true that Melchior took him away. However, I'm afraid that is where the trail grows cold. In any case, we can be sure that the Abbey has him captive. But what could they possibly want with him? If their aim is merely to fight piracy, They'd publicly execute him, or try to lure you out, would they not? And yet they've done neither. Total silence. I wonder... Could it be they want to get their hands on the relics some say Eifried brought back from the far continent? The relic from across the sea? Have rumors of that strange thing been going around? What the... It's possible. There was a certain relic that the captain was curiously taken with. Kept it safe. What was it? That's our business. I'll speak no more of it. Hmm. Huh. But if that's truly what they're after, I highly doubt the villa is where they're keeping him locked up. That's not where they keep their torture implements. Quite true. At any rate, I thank you for sharing what secrets you could. I wish you the best of luck on your search for more information. More. Survival is at stake. An elder sister eating her brother before he inexorably wastes away is not outside the bounds of reason. You needn't hold back, Velvet. Eat, Lafayette. No! No! The hell with you! You and your disgusting words! <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Why? You were... You were shouting. Be more careful around me! You know full well I'm a demon! I'm sorry. Damn. Awake or 
I sleep, it's all one long nightmare. Smashing objects together is destruction. Smashing feelings together is life. But objects, tools, so much easier to abuse and toss aside. What does that mean? It means break time is over. Time to get to work, sweetie. Good thing I showed up in time. Don't tell me you're coming too. Sojourn alongside the gloomy demon lady, and the exorcist controlling Bienfu is sure to appear. I told my own fortune, and there it was. Do your fortunes actually hold water? <laughs> I've been in the castle before, you know. How useful to have Magilu along, they said in the future. Get in my way, and I'll give you the boot. It's the Viper's Nest. They're always watching. Yes, but therein lie shadows, too. Let's look for someone with a red scarf. Let's see your papers. This broke my house. Okay. Checks out. This tunnel over here connects to the castle. It should put you inside the villa. Huh? Croc's favorite meal is witches. All right, onward and inward. Everyone but Mogilu, tread carefully. Some assassin's crew we are. Hmm.
Victory is ours. Yeah, boy. You'll be rushed on my Don't waste my time. Ready to die? 
Think you can dodge? Just try! Perfect mayhem! Unarmed. Hey, look! The water level dropped! You don't think there are any alligators down there, do you? We need to get through here while it's still nighttime. The perfect place for prognostication. Eeny teeny spiny crow. Which way, which way shall we go? Hmm. Mogilu. Oh! Verily the icy glare of death. Boy, which way do you think is best? I. <laughs> uh. There must be a way up somewhere. Let's find it. <laughs> uh... Be rushed on my blood. But I'm this close. I won't miss. Form zero.
You're fighting the Reaper! Victory is ours! Finish this quick. Library. This is unexpected. Wow! Oh, oh, oh! Well, isn't this a rare collection of tomes? You royals sure have coffers to burn. Oh! Books in the ancient tongue! Can you read it? Well, no, but... I just... This has nothing to do with our job. Huh? If you want it, just take it. Don't pretend to be noble. You're consorting with demons. Huh. Good grief, Velvet. You can't lighten huh. up for once in your life. Lighten up? Did you forget we're here to kill someone? You really want that ratty old thing? There's gotta be way pricier ones. So Mogulu, which way to the worship hall? Which way, indeed? I asked you a question. I told you I've been here before, but I never said I was an expert. And I said we'd dump you if you started to annoy me. Dump me? Then you'll need to look for a trash can first. <sighs> I'm the fool for even trying to hold a conversation with you. That's the spirit. Loosen up those shoulders, and the way forward ought to make itself plain. <laughs> You'll be rushed on my blade. Here you go. Come on. Ready to die? Then 
you can dodge just across. If you want to live, get... Feeling nervous, Laffy said? A bit. I can teach you a spell that will help. Like that eeny teeny spiny crow thing? No, that was divination to draw back the veil of fate. This spell is a bit of magic that will improve your fortune. Here is what you must chant. Magic Kazam! See? It totally works! I'm not sure. What did this spell do? It's a pointless charm to dispel a pointless worry. If it's pointless, why even perform it? Because humans are creatures that find themselves burdened unknowingly by pointless things. In any case, chant after me. Are you ready? Uh, all right. Magicazam! Magicazam. I can't hear you! Try again! Magicazam! Magicazam. Once again! With feeling! Magicazam! Magic Kazam Azam! Again! Magic Kazam Azam! Is that all you've got? Magic Kazam Azam Zam! Shh, keep it down. We're trying to sneak in, remember? What? <laughs> Just an old gag. Shut up! Ow, what was that for? I was only easing the boy's nerves. We have more important things to worry about. Demons and Malakim are such stiffs. Magic Kazam. Huh? Did that help? <laughs> and now the boy consoles me. Well, that was pointless.
Hello. Are you Gideon? I am in prayer at the moment. Who are you? I asked you first. Such ill manners. But what else could I expect of a demon? <laughs> Stop right there! <gasps> Another accurate augury. <laughs> An ambush. Is this more of your Reaper's curse? Or do you think the old lady sold us out? You figured it out, didn't you? That he's running the Nectar operation. Indeed. I followed up on each of the incidents you caused, and the trail led me all the way to the High Priest Gideon. Yet you still defend him? The punishment he deserves is for the Abbey to administer. Punishment? How dare you! Do you realize how much I've done for the good of the Abbey? Make it nice and desperate, Velvet. I just know the result will be something wonderful. <laughs> Stay out of this, witch. Stand aside. I'll take care of this right here, right No mercy! Wounds that won't see us! No Crush her head. Run from your true mistress! I'm putting you back where you belong! You, descendant of the Seventh Grove, see our vows renewed! May our prayers of discontent vanish infinitesimal into the void! Remember this true name I bestow unto you! Fushi Cass!
for the sake of the Abbey. We needed money to build the temple. That's why I sold the nectar. I know I was wrong to produce so much of it, but I was only trying to help the people as best I could. Let's talk uh, this over. Who ordered you here? Yeah, was it the I sick? Yeah. Was it the doctors? Or... No. Was it Artorius? Yes. I knew it! Damn his eyes! So he wants to wipe me out of existence, does he? That bastard! After all the work I did for him! No! Velvet? That false savior will pay! You can't die now! You think you could read books when you're dead? Oh. Don't you die either, Velvet! Priestie's getting away! He won't. I'll hunt him now. Heading out. Oh, miss me that much, did ya? I'm not waiting. So, not even the high priest is immune to demon blight. I guess he hit his limit. holding this thing captive? This barrier. I know it well. It seems our errand has met with success. At least technically speaking. Right. Let's get out of here. What did you do to the High Priest? What is this demon? I don't know. 
and I don't care. Do not mock me! You are the mockery. What do you hope to do to me without your exorcist powers? That was some night, though. Stay sharp. Dawn hasn't come yet. We are the worst. We are the worst. Stealing a Moloch from an exorcist. How did you pull that one off, Mogilu? The info was my Moloch to begin with. Then he betrayed me and ran away from his rightful home. <laughs> Miss Mogulu treats Malakim so bad, bad, bad. I couldn't take it anymore. After a little while, I ran into Madame Eleanor. She was so much nicer to me. I see, I see. Now, just how am I going to punish you for that little slander on my character? <laughs> the bad, bad days are here again! You're an exorcist, then. Eh, I'm a witch, silly! Bienfu here is the catalyst thingy for my magic. But only exorcists can form a pact with Malakim. <laughs> oh yeah? Says who? Someone who likes making dumb rules? <laughs> Enough, Velvet. Questioning her is a good way to go mad. <laughs> you did the job well, it seems. You heard quickly. That's about all I'm good for. And with these old ears, sometimes it's hard to hear it all. And did you learn anything about the key for passing through the barrier? Yes. Only the high-ranking exorcists can enter through the barrier protecting Artorius and his temple. Exorcists are considered high-ranking if they are accompanied by at least four greater Malakim. Hmm. So if we had four powerful Malakim with us, we could slip through. But Malakim outside the Abbey's control are rare. They thought this through. Hmm. Aizen, Lafayette, and Bienfu. So we just need one more. We'll have to steal it then. So I have to come too? Sounds like a pain. Then stay. We don't need you. We'll keep Bienfu though. You have no <laughs> courtesy. How about it would be an honor, Madame Mogilu? More like that. <laughs> would you come if we asked? To attack the shepherd? <laughs> Depends on how you ask. A battle between shepherd and demon sounds like a real fine spectacle. I'm afraid this is just how Miss Mogilu is. Hmm. Miss Mogilu, um, I, I would like it if. If you came with us, pl please. Luffy said. Well, what choice does that leave me? I suppose I could tag along a little while longer. <laughs> you can count on me. Melchior will be there. You and I still share the same goal. Our business is done. You can have this back. Keep it, dear. As long as you have that, we will count you as an ally worthy of aid. Allies of the ones trying to kill the savior? You might regret that. <laughs> Such a considerate young lady. Listen, dear, all of us live on the fringes of their so-called reason, do we not? Did you say I didn't warn you? 
Velvet, wait. My, my. I can't blame him. It's been a long night. Some aid for your allies? Of course. Right away. Anyway. <laughs> You're finally up. I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. Getting sleepy or hungry is a natural part of life. I won't eat you. What about your wounds? Feeling pain? That's also natural, right? I'm fine. It was nothing. You're really tough, aren't you, Velvet? You have to be tough, if what you seek is revenge. Revenge? We're leaving. <laughs> Rokuro and the others are waiting at the plaza. Refreshing morning, especially after a long night of metting punishment on my heartless betrayer. <laughs> my poor battered body. You better not kill our key. You're one to talk. Better not eat the boy. He's your precious key now. I know. Oh? You're facing the Shepherd and an Empyrean. Old Shepsy's one thing, but Empyreans are, you know, just who created the world? You think you can win just by smacking it around a bit? That's no Empyrean. It's a phony. Artorius is just using a legend to control the people. Wouldn't a true god be able to do something about the demon blight? <sighs> you don't believe in Enominat? I believe there exists something people call Enominat. But it's just a Moloch that used a special art to bring the other Molochim into our world. You sound confident. I witnessed it three years ago. Well, if it's not actually a god we're against, we just might stand a chance. Of course we do. And ultimately, our target is Artorius. I don't care about anything else. Revenge against Artorius. For her brother. All right, Lafayette. said. Which way is the Empyrean's throne? Um, it was north of Logris, in the mountains up the Danan Highway. If exorcists are keeping up their inspections, they might provide us a chance to steal another monk. Uh, okay. I sent my men a sylph jay with orders to scout out the inspectors. With their information, we'll be able to plan the attack. Hmm. We can meet up at Port Zexen. That's the plan. Take a this recipe looks real tasty. Scout ship setting sail. 